Are you looking for that perfect pre-sale unit for a quick flip, maybe as an investment property rental in the future, or even to live in once the project is complete? Well, you're gonna wanna watch this video all the way to the end so you don't make a massive mistake and waste a whole bunch of money by buying the wrong unit. And I'm gonna reveal to you the truth about pre-sales that some developers may not want you to know. Really quick before the video continues, I'm going to donate $1 during the entire month of October for any like that a video gets that's published within this month. All of that money is going to go directly to the Surrey Food Bank in replacement of our annual fundraiser that we normally would do, but we can't due to the virus. So if you want me to give a dollar to the Surrey Food Bank up to $2,500, you can do so right now by clicking like on this video before October 31st. And if you yourself would like to donate to the Food Bank this year, you can do so down below using the the link in the description. Thank you so much for helping me bring awareness to the Surrey Food Bank and those in need. Now back to the video. So many people line up for that hot pre-sale brand new development either in condos or even in townhouses in my marketplace of Surrey BC in the Fraser Valley. Now this is something I see every single day working in the industry and to tell you the truth I can't figure it out. Shopping for a pre-sale unit is much more like shopping for a car than it is like shopping for real estate but I'm not here to judge the way you want to purchase properties. Rather I'm here to help educate you about real estate and just like the hottest new pre-sale project available, you can register for your free pre-sale real estate education right now by subscribing to the channel. See what I did there? And for today only, with your free subscription to this channel, we're going to include one chance to win our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. But now back to pre-sales, and what I ask myself is, why do people love a pre-sale? Well, the answer is, most people really, really want to buy something that's brand new, and they're willing to pay a premium just for the benefit of being the first owner. It's it's been very difficult to demonstrate to people that pre-sales sell for a heck of a lot more than the resale market until now. Very recently, I found some properties, both brand new and slightly used, to help me help you understand how much more a pre-sale unit sells for than the resale market. You see, just recently in the neighborhood of Fleetwood, we sold in a complex called Fleetwood Rise. These are beautiful townhouse units with three bedrooms up, the work from home space down below, side-by-side -side garage, island kitchen, open concepts, absolutely everything people are looking for these days. And in my opinion, one of the best areas for future growth potential as a result of the new SkyTrain coming down Fraser Highway into Fleetwood. They are truly beautiful units designed and built by a very reputable builder called Anthem. In the last six months, there have been sales registering anywhere from $827,000 all the way up to a record-breaking $850,000. These prices seem totally crazy to most of us because just a few years ago when the project was brand new, you could have bought off of the developer in the 600,000s. But fast forward to today and the exact same reputable builder is building another project right in the same neighborhood. It's another amazing complex called Wood and Water and it's built overlooking a golf course just off 152nd Street. These units are now getting ready for sales of phase three and the sticker price on them is $885,000 plus GST. Yeah, exactly, GST. So you have to now pay $929,250 to buy into the new complex. So I know what you're thinking. Steve, these must be bigger, nicer units with all the new finishings and fixtures. Well, you're going to be shocked to see just how similar they are. Here is the outside of the beautiful wood and water townhouses currently being marketed as a presale. And now here is the unit that we just sold in Fleetwood Rise. This is the kitchen featured on the Wood and Water website. And here's what the kitchen looks like in the three-year-old unit. They are essentially the exact same unit built by the exact same developer. The only difference is one of them is three years old. Even when you look at the square footage in the new complex versus the older complex, you will find that they are almost identical. But since we're looking at cost of pre-sale versus resale, let's break it down by square foot. The average price per square foot of the last four sales in Fleetwood Rise when you divide it all up is sitting just around $569 a foot. Now let's look back at the Wood and Water website and find out that their three bed plus den units units are listed at 1,475 square feet, 
when you take their asking price for that same unit and divide it by square footage, you're going to find out that they're asking exactly $600 per square foot in the new development, making the actual cost of brand new $31.23 per square foot. What about the GST? Well, yeah, that's right. Now we have to account for that little thing called the GST. Putting the purchase price of $885,000 into a GST property calculator, you'll find that you'll actually have to pay another $44,250. $50 just in tax with no rebate available. This means that if you buy brand new, you're now paying an additional $30 per square foot. So instead of $600 per square foot, you're now paying $630. This means that if you buy the exact same unit, just a couple of years old versus brand new, you're probably saving over $60 a foot. And with the last few sales in Fleetwood Rise being $850,000, you will have to fork out an extra $79,250 to be in wood and water just for the privilege of being the first owner. Or an extra $342.90 per month, according to RBC. So there you have it. Officially, we can say the cost of a brand new pre-sale townhouse in my marketplace of Surrey, BC is $60 per foot or as much as $350 a month over 25 years. If you have any questions or comments about this, please reach out in the comments. Remember to click the like button to make me donate to the Surrey Food Bank for the month of October. Check out another couple of videos while you're here on the channel and we'll see you in a couple of days.